Hey Sainers, we've got some contract news. We'll get straight into it. A quick little video today just to keep you all updated. Hope you're all going well. The first one is Nick Caulfield. Uh, I believe there is a two year deal on the table for him. I think there was some interest in the Bulldogs that were looking at him, but um, two year deal on the table for Nick Caulfield. Uh, which is good. It puts him until the uh, 2025 season. Uh, I think that's free agency, I believe. So um, hopefully we can get the best out of Nick Caulfield in that time. Obviously, the last couple of years have been very frustrating, but I think top 10 draft pick in 2020, he was excellent off halfback. I think we need a player like him. I think he's got versatility. I think he can fit a need in a Ross Lyon team. So I'm really excited to uh, hopefully see him put pen to paper and we can really get a good preseason into him. Very injury interrupted career so far, but I still think there's a big chance we can get something out of Nick Caulfield in the next couple of years. The other one uh, is Zach Jones, which some people, based on the comments, uh, have had a mixed bag, whether they wanted to see him stay or wanted to see him go based on his, you know, his, um, again, injuries, not getting on the park, his age now, um, and whether his best football's, you know, even ahead of him, behind him, or, you know, right here. So I believe a one-year deal is on the table for Zach Jones. To me, I think it's just important to still keep some senior boys around. We don't want to clean, you know, clean house too much. I think the thing that separates him from maybe the other players that we've looked at that might go is that he fits a need again. So our midfield's very slow, uh, one-paced, similar types in there all the time. When Zach Jones is fit, he's really the only one that's kind of that that speed, that barometer, um, that energy that we lack so heavily. And it it actually makes him look... It's not a get nothing against him, but I think it actually makes him look even better because we're so not used to having a player like him in the midfield. So when he's missing for long periods, which we've seen in the last two seasons, and then he plays the odd one or two games, we look at him and we go, wow, like he's looking bloody good. But I think it's more in comparison to the fact that we've not had a player like him in there at all because we're so used to the Jack Steels, Crouches, Seb Rosses. Gresham's the only one that kind of separates from those guys. Maybe Machito when he goes in there now and more so next year. But uh, yeah, one year. I'm not too surprised just based on the fact that he's an experienced player. We're probably going to have to need him at some point. Backing in one more year uh, next year just to get his body right, to get on the park. He'll be a very important player if we can get 15 games out of him. If it's six games again or less, I think that's him done. But I think it's worth just persisting for the one more year and probably on a much, you know, reduced contract, obviously. Um, and then the other one is Liam Stocker. So I believe Liam Stocker's got a deal on the table. I'm not too sure if it's one or two years. It wouldn't surprise me if it's two. I think he deserves it. Obviously picked him up uh, pre-season, uh, delisted from Carlton and had a very, very good season. You know, there were patches there where he was dropped and he talked about that with us in a few chats, but he fought back from that. I think he's a valuable player. He brings physicality. His ball use got better as the season went on. Um, and he's just one of those players that, he, you know, your teammates, if you were his teammate, you'd love playing with him. And I think that's an undersold sort of trait in a player these days. Is They may not be the most skilled or the best player on the park, but if you run out and you feel good running out with them, you know what they're going to represent for you and really wear the jumper proudly, then you want to play for these players you know, with these blokes every single week. And Liam Stock is one of those players. So he's got a deal on the table. Again, not too sure if it's one or two years. Um, but those are the contract talk uh, contract talking points today. If there's anything else that comes out in terms of trade news, uh, that'll be done on Trade Talk. But I just wanted to do a quick video to update you because I know that you can go to different sources, try and find one here, one there. But if I can just collate it, bring it all to you in one hit, very short, sharp, and to the point. Hopefully you appreciate that. You give us a like, comment, uh, your thoughts on that. Zach Jones, um, one year. Nick Caulfield, two years. And then Liam Stock has got a deal on the table as well. Let me know your thoughts on that, Sainers. And I'll see you in the next one. Go Saints. Oh, 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 oh,